Boy, if this doesn't scream fun, I don't know what does. Yeah, that's that sucks. How's it going, everybody? So, you're gonna find yourself in the middle of the highway, uh, looking at a guy whose boat trailer is back there. You're gonna make a joke that, hey, you want to steal a boat? All we gotta do is take our spare tire off our camper, and we can get that boat. Well, no sooner than I said that jokingly, then my tire blew on the camera. <laughs> so note this off, don't joke around about stealing people's things. So first things first, you had to get the spare tire off of our camper and the spare tire lives underneath here. So good news is, my spare tire has air in it, fantastic, okay? Next thing I gotta do is I gotta make sure I can loosen these lug nuts off of here. <laughs> so we're gonna try to loosen these first and as long as I can loosen these first, we're gonna be okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. That one will go. Yep, that one will go. Okay, so you can't let a flat tire ruin your f***ing day. So a couple tricks you're probably gonna need to know about. You've got a camper out here, you're in the middle of nowhere. What do you do? How are you gonna change this tire? Well, first things first, you have a stabilizer jack on the back of the camper here, okay? You have landing gear on the front. Now, I'm not a big fan of jacking things up by the landing gear, so what I did is I just used it to stabilize the camper, okay? Next thing. I don't have a jack in the camper and that's bad on me. I should have, I got like six bottle jacks at home. I never put one in the truck. So I took the jack for the truck. And what I did is I put the jack for the truck underneath the camper here to start lifting it up, okay? Now, challenge with that, it's not a scissor jack. It's a little weird bottle jack, I think. It's some kind of hydraulic jack, but I don't know. So I put a board underneath, got it up as high as I could, okay? Next thing, well, I was able to max out the jack. What am I gonna do next? Just dig a hole. Just dig a hole to slip the rest of the tire in and you're good to go. So we're tightening up these nuts here. I'll get them good and torqued down and God willing, we're back on the road and home in one piece. <laughs> 